Hey everybody, Heidi Schrock, Remax Palm, and my guest that I have today is Jen Mantoni, and she is a litigation attorney. So that's kind of scary. So why don't you tell us what we what you really do? Hey Heidi, um, as you know, uh, I'm a civil litigator, and my firm focuses on a, a lot of landlord tenant matters, um, commercial and residential, and we also have a specific niche where we represent mobile home park owners throughout the state of Florida. Oh. Um, I know you and I were talking and, and we found it incredibly interesting um, that a new Florida Supreme Court order was um, issued on the 24th, yes. um, actually suspending writs of possession through, so that it, I'll, I'll explain a bit. Um, so a writ of possession is the last step in a traditional eviction proceeding. Okay. Uh, after you obtain a final judgment for eviction, the clerk will then issue a writ of possession. This order actually suspends the clerk's requirement to issue the writ of possession. Okay. Now what that means until April 17th, um, okay. until subsequent order, but for now it's just till April 17th. And, and so what that means on the ground is that there's gonna be no writ of possession for the sheriff to execute. A writ of possession is what the sheriff needs. It's the court order the sheriff needs to actually physically remove a tenant from a home. Got it. So this order is going to delay evictions um, because you can still obtain a final judgment for evic eviction, but okay. if you can't get the writ issued and executed by the sheriff's office, you really don't have the legal document to remove the required to remove the tenant from the home. Um, okay. With that said, obviously there needs to be a bit more understanding and leeway with our tenants as much as the landlords and property owners can. Um, we're in a completely unchartered territory here. Sure. You kind of mentioned before, it's kind of like the wild, wild west. And it yes, totally is. It is. It is. So that this um, Supreme Court order will actually clear up some of that because okay. before this order was entered, there was really no uniformity or consistency among the counties and how they were treating evictions. So now there is officially writs will not be issued until april 17th um but you know on the other side of things of course you and i understand um that you know i know you have investor clients and paying the mortgages you know right. having the rent paid is critical to um things moving along and paying your bills so I know this is going to scare a lot of investors and landlords, property owners. Um, so with that said, although this order is going to delay certain evictions, some evictions, that doesn't mean you should stop filing the eviction. It doesn't mean you should necessarily delay on filing or getting those pre-suit notices to your tenants, um, like the three-day demand letter and things like that. Um, it doesn't mean the landlords and property owners and investors should just do nothing. You know, that's not what this order is saying. Just be aware that um, come time to actually physically remove the tenant, there's likely going to be a little delay. Um, but who knows how long this is going to be in force. We're all just kind of playing it day by day at this point. So but, does that mean like all of the courts are closed? No. There, again, this order kind of addresses which um, hearings the courts will and will not be hearing. But... But yeah, it's it's not the case where the you know the courts are closed. Okay. Yeah, um, we're we're not there yet. Luckily. Got it. <laughs> you weren't here yet. Yeah, hope not anytime soon. No. Right. So, is that just for the state of Florida? This order it was issued by the Supreme Court of Florida. So it was. okay, yeah. cool. I mean, you know, and it's so nice that I'm able to have all of your knowledge um, at my fingertips all the time like this, because, you know, I didn't know that. And, you know, especially with it just coming out just like that, you know, it is, it's super important to my investors. So I really, really appreciate that. And I know your office is really busy, so I really appreciate the time. Um, anything else you want to add? No, it's always a pleasure working with you. Um, I love hearing uh, the the wild stories and, and questions you sometimes have. It keeps yes. me on my, my toes, so I enjoy working with you. And and yeah, a lot of, um, you know, I checked in with uh, Charlotte County Clerk and Sarasota County, and they were just apprised of this order literally first thing this morning. So this is, you know, relatively, it was entered on the 24th, but many counties are just becoming aware of it. Very cool. 
All right. Well, thank you so much as always. I really appreciate it. I'll let you get back to suing or whatever you do all day <laughs> long. So thank you again. I appreciate it. Thanks, Heidi. All right. Bye-bye.